Hi guys, we're going to start with day two of our space art project. Uh, first of all, we're going to take those rockets that you made last time and set those to the side for now. We might get those to the get to those today, or we might not. All right, up in the top of the paper, uh, we're going to be doing. We're going to fill it out first of all, and I want you guys to fill out not your name or your last name here. I want you to wait on that because I want to make sure that it looks nice and neat and I'm actually going to do that later on. Uh, so what I want you to do is write your name on the back. So just write your name on the back so I know whose it is and we don't get it lost. But I would like you to help me out because this part isn't quite as important. Uh, I would you like you to write with a pen as neatly as you can. I want you to write your teacher's name right here and then school name I want you to write West Elementary E L E M E N T A R Y. West Elementary, and then put your grade level, which is second. And you could put a 2 and D, and then write your teacher's name right there. But please, again, don't touch that right now. Don't fill it out because um, if it gets messed up and it's not perfect then your name will show up wrong and we don't want that to happen so you just write your name first and last on the back and and that will help me out so I don't have to fill out every single one of those alright um, today what we're going to do is so we have the rocket off to the side we're going to work on this part right here and this is going to be like a backdrop for our space art and so it's going to include planets and you know you could do Saturn rings on one but you're going to design these planets how you want and we're also going to use these scented markers to do that the reason we're going to do that because they're so bold and when you make a sticker of it it's really going to show up nice so I'm really excited to see how that goes when you get started with your planets I want you to take a pencil and you're going to be drawing four to six planets on yours. Four or five or six. That's a good number to have. And I want you to vary the size of them. So you want to have some that are small, some that are medium, and then also some that are large. So here we go. I'm going to draw a few here. I'm going to draw maybe one that's kind of a medium size, medium to small, maybe right over here. Uh, maybe I have one that's really tiny over here in the corner. That's two. This one right here, maybe I want to do a really large one, so it's actually just running off the page, which is kind of nice to do. I'm just running off, so it actually it looks like a really big one. And then maybe I'll have another one, kind of a medium to large size one over here. So I have to think about where my rocket's going to be placed when I cut it out at the end, where I want to place it. So you have to kind of think about that, and it's okay to if, if your rocket overlaps a little bit with one of the planets. That actually makes it look nice. So that's four there. Maybe I'll put another one going down over here, running off the page. And then I could even do another one over here. Okay, but don't overdo the planets. You don't want to do too many. Uh, after that, then, you have to think about, okay, do I want to put rings on them? Uh, maybe I want to put a star one, too. Maybe I do want to put a star, like, maybe right in this area over here. So I know you guys know how to make stars. So you could just go like this. And this is kind of nice, because then you can just erase the middle like that and then you have a nice looking star and it's pretty easy to make and maybe another star over here I like to do it nice and light because it's a lot easier to erase as we go okay. alright after that I might think about some designs I want to put on my planets and maybe some rings so this one looks like it would be a nice Saturn so I'm going to put some rings around it go around once and then go around twice and then what would need to erase in the middle there. Okay. Uh, maybe this one has polka dots on it. Maybe I'll put a bunch of polka dots on it. That could add a lot of color to it and an interesting design. Okay. Maybe this one has stripes around it. So maybe I'll curve some. Maybe a stripe like that. And then maybe I go like this. Might look like an Easter egg, but no, that looks all right. I kind of like that. Maybe add a little more decoration here. And then maybe over here, uh, maybe I'll do some zigzags. So these are kind of a make-believe types of planets, but you're also adding some of your own design into it. Okay. 
And I think that's good. I think I'll leave those just solid there. Uh, after that, you're going to go in and color, or not color, but you're going to be outlining with Sharpies. So you're going to take a Sharpie and you're going to outline all of those lines. Do that nice and carefully. Oops, made a little mistake there. If you do make that mistake, what I can do is just solid it in. This might be a black star, which actually won't look good in the end. I might have to actually cover this one up. That's okay, though. Okay. That's why it pays to slow down. There we go. That's a better one right there. Here's a little trick uh, at the end. What I like to do is clean it up a little bit. I'll take an eraser and I'll just go over and erase it. What happens is I erase the pencil lines, but the Sharpie lines stay. So it looks like I didn't even use pencil in my work. Okay. And I continue working on that and going over all of that. Next, you'll get to coloring parts. Uh, we do have the smelling markers here. Uh, respect the sh smelling markers. Uh, don't just smell them. If you want to smell them, you can color first and then uh, do it there. Uh, they will stain on your nose, your clothes, so just be a little bit careful there. Uh, stay away from black. Black's not a good color to use on this since we're going to do this background black later on. So here we go. Maybe I'll do this one pink. Use the edge. This is a chisel tip, so you'll take it and use as much as you can. The colors will be nice and bright and you'll be amazed on the colors, how they pop. Nice and soft when you touch it, but man, that just really pops out there and that was really simple to do. Okay. Some of these designs here, maybe I want some orange polka dots. Maybe I just want to go like that, leave the middle white. Oh, that'd be kind of neat to do. Could even go like this, like this. Could even do this, watch this. Do patterns and designs. This is really taking it up to the next level. Okay. And even have a nice banana scent here. You continue going and again, fill it all in. You can leave some areas that are white, like if I was doing something like this, but overall you wanna fill it in nice and even level three coloring. All right, go ahead and do your planets today and good luck.